one Rob the Backyard Gardener here. It's been about four weeks and one day since my last apple tree update. I was trying to wait till they hit seven months, which will occur on August 1st. But you know what? That's Friday. Not everyone's gonna watch my channel or watch my videos on a Friday. So I figured it's a weekday. What else is there better to do than to get caught up on the apple series? Anyway, there's been explosive growth. If you recall, my goal is to provide you with at least monthly updates on these, not only uh, as the season unwinds, but even through the winter if possible, because what I'm really hoping for is that even if they don't produce any flowers or fruit next year, which is very unlikely, matter of fact, it's almost a certainty they won't, I still want to give you the progress. There's not a lot of videos out there on YouTube that show the progression of an apple tree grown from seed. Typically, what you see is the apples that are grafted onto rootstock. I want to keep you informed on my journey. And uh, anyway, let's go take a look at how they're doing. All right, so here's one of the three apple saplings that I have in the ground. And you can clearly see that it's gotten a lot bigger since the last video. The top uh, part of the tree or sapling actually is to the top of that stake right there. And uh, I've cut off all the, lo the lower leaves. I did trim one of the lower branches just to see what it would do. And as you can see, it's resilient. It's already starting to grow back. I may end up just taking that all the way off. I actually had a aphid problem on this one, just discovered last weekend, and I had to treat it with some soap and water, and it looks like it's bounced back really well despite the heat. Thank goodness we got some rain. Now, over here, I have my other apple sapling, and as you can see down here below, this is where I trimmed one of the lower branches and it's already grown back. I've left this one alone for now, might trim it as, as well. And then the top two branches are definitely getting a lot taller. Not quite as tall as the stake on this one, but this stake is a few, I guess about four to five inches, not as deep as the other one. So it's a little misleading. All in all, they're about the same height. And I would estimate that they're about almost five feet tall, four and a half to five feet. Anyway, you can see they're doing quite well out here on the yard, so I'm pretty pleased. And on this side of the yard, the original transplant, about two weeks ahead of the other one, you can see this guy has just gotten so much taller. I mean, he's stretching for the top of the fence. That's an eight-foot fence, and he's about two, maybe two feet away. Um, and he's also a foot in the ground. So really, this is where he was last time before I topped him. When I topped him, I took off about six inches. And I'll go ahead and show you a picture of that right here. So here's the six inches that I removed from the top. And you can see pretty much in this shot, as well as in this shot, how far he is from the top of the fence. Quite a difference from today. Speaking of today, look at this plant. Leaves look healthy. The sapling has actually sprouted several more branches. I'll go ahead and show you a few right here. We've got this one that wasn't here last time, as well as the one in the back that you can see here. So topping them actually worked, and I think personally, it even helped him thicken up his stem a little bit. I know it's hard to tell from this shot, and it still looks pretty flimsy, but it is thickening. I hope you liked the update. Once again, thanks for watching.